All right, all right. I'm back. I started one. I'm going to start another. Now, narratives. Anybody could push a narrative on a YouTube channel for their boxer or cause a little bit of mischief, too. So, you know, in my last video, when I was talking about leverage, um, you know, I love Manny Pacquiao. I really do, man. Uh, he's like the last Mohegan in my time, and I'm pushing for him, right? Fine. But there's all kinds of narratives to make um, when it comes down to Errol Spence, Bud Crawford, any other fighter that you want direct the best for them, right? So I want to say something about narratives. I'm going to push this narrative. It could go somewhere and it can't go somewhere, but... There's no new thought under the sun, as they say. So if I thought about it, maybe somebody else did, but they don't have a platform. But I got a platform, and I thought about it, and I said, you know what? Let's just push a narrative, All right? So when I get into this, I'm just saying to myself, man, Manny Pacquiao, he lost the belt, right? You know, in my eyes, belts, when it comes to belts and legacy, your belt don't mean shit. I made a video about your belt don't mean shit, right? Um, but that's in the eye of the beholder and who's watching and who wants legacy over belts, who wants this and who wants that. You see, Crawford was looking for a legacy fight. Um, Errol Spence, if he's on his square and the, the narrative I'm hearing and pushing that, Errol Spence said, I'm hearing this from videos already now, that, um, Manny Pacquiao is on, at home right now. Um, Errol Spence is not going for Manny Pacquiao. Or, or Errol Spence is not going for Manny Pacquiao. He's looking to fight Ugas, right? So I was like, damn, Manny Pacquiao, man. You, you lost your leverage. You lost your leverage in the game. Because, you know, some people are like, my morals are over money. You know, you, you can't buy somebody out. Their, moral, their morals are strong. So money don't matter to some people. Not even just morals, but... That could come down to, to like, um, the last person that did the best to you. Like, uh, let's say Marquez. He said, I don't know if it's true or not. He said he's coming back. But if you're coming back, why not fight Manny Pacquiao? Well, everybody got an answer for me. Well, you know, why would you mess up that legacy? No matter what money is on the table. Can't, and, and, and Marquez said the same thing. You can't get mad at him about that. No, you cannot get mad at him about that. So... Let me see what's going on here. So, I said to myself, it's no one talking about this, but if Manny Pacquiao is naming from A to Z all these fighters around the world, coming back to Spence, he's naming all these fighters and wasted all this time, well, we can add another one in. Why don't we add Ugas? Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about Ugas. Your name is Ugas, right? Because if I recall... Now, this is all fake narrative. This is just something to, to put out there, right? Um, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Um, last thing I heard about you know, your Danis Ugas when it came down to Spence, they was talking some shit about he wants 50-50. <laughs> he wants 50-50. All right, buddy. So, you know, when I was talking to you about how Terrence Crawford got the last stone, um... Well, you know, he, he's holding on to that, that last belt. And um, Spence is trying to get the third belt from Ugas. Now, once he gets the whole three belts, all right, now he's looking towards Crawford. Sounds all effing dandy, right? Everybody's on point, but what about Ugas? You know, what if Ugas says, I want more money for that fight, right? But he can't get that money from that fight because... Errol Spence is not in Legacy League. Who else is in Legacy League? Manny Pacquiao. So let's say Manny Pacquiao goes to Ugas. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say, let's just hypothetically. I don't want to put it out there too much because people are going to get mad at me and say, oh, how dare you put a, a, a video out like this? You're trying to mess shit up on account of Manny Pacquiao. 
But hey, we all do it all the time. We push narratives and say, this is Box that said this, and, and we're going to move on and shit like that, and, we, and this is what's going to happen. Listen, um, by, with the, by Monday, I should hear a date going on with August. But, but by next week, Monday through, Monday through Sunday, I should hear a date for August versus Spence. If I don't hear that, well, what's, hold, what's the hold up, man? What's up? This should be easy. What's the hold up? So I'm saying, what 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 if somebody get in Ugas ear and be like, yo, um, Manny Pacquiao, you can fight Manny Pacquiao, make more more money fight fighting to Errol Spence, and and, 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 and if Errol Ugas sit back and say, you know what, if I fight Spence and I beat him, I could give him what he wants, right? And nobody will remember me, right? Because people say I'm just a a paper champion. I didn't. I didn't. I ain't successfully beat anyone really badly to get that that belt. Manny Pacquiao lost the belt because he was he wasn't active. <laughs> so just like I was saying about Crawford, I'm giving you an example of how Crawford got the belt, and that's what Errol Spence is looking forward to after he beats Udanis Ugas. If he beats him, always put that if anything could happen in the fight. Big up to the Cubans, right? So if he beats Udanis Ugas, well. He could look forward to negotiations with Bud Crawford. Now, 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 Manny Pacquiao is nowhere in, in this because he has nothing to say. He got no belt. Um, you know, he, people say he's high on his horse because he got a legacy fight and anybody will take a fight with him. But if someone like Errol Spence said, nah, nah, nah. Error over money. I want to build my own error. I said I want these, these three... These, these three belts, I'm, I, I want that belt. I'm going to get that belt. Manny Pacquiao's over here. Well, what can Manny Pacquiao do? <laughs> well, Manny Pacquiao go off Ugas to fight. I mean, is he petitioning for his belt back? If he's petitioning for his belt back and the option is that he got to fight Ugas for his belt, well, that puts a monkey wrench, a monkey wrench in Errol Spence game. Don't it? Answer me, don't it? Yes, it does. It does. So everybody's just saying it's a one road, one way street. Oh, Spence, he's going to get that belt. But remember, he's fighting another human being with different thoughts and different ideas and different feelings. He has to be on board also. He is a, he is a champion. And if he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao, he can. You know, um, champions over Trump mandatories but I don't know if, I, listen type in the comment below can he make that fight that, that don't base it on because you want Errol Spence to win and get the belt based on the facts can Ugas get a fight with Manny Pacquiao and do he deserve that fight with Manny Pacquiao since they gave that belt to Manny Pacquiao that's a discrepancy looking like a chess move going on here that I don't even see. But you know what I'm saying? This this could happen. So if Manny Pacquiao name all these people or, or, or Manny Pacquiao team, and I'm trying to figure out, is Manny Pacquiao, I know Manny Pacquiao, you're so busy with your senior duties and helping the people of your country, and you got a lot on your plate. I don't know if you're thinking for yourself or you got other people in your team thinking for you, trying to make the best lucrative um, fight there is. Ryan Garcia, people with, with a whole bunch of YouTube followers and 20 million followers, like how Mayweather's doing it. He's not fighting a, 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 a man like you with a country. He's looking for something else, like, you know, something equivalent to it, like YouTube followers, 20 million, 21 million, all this rah rah shit. But if Yugis, Yunez Ugas said, you know what? I can make more of the Manny Pacquiao fight. And, and people will know my name more. And if I'm not deciding to do this, this, this fighting shit no more, I can live like a king in my country. Hey, look, I'm looking like a king right now in my country, right? I'm looking like, am I, I'm looking good in Cuba, right? So if I decide to say, you know what? I'm going to get Manny Pacquiao that fight. Wow. Talking about pushing the narrative, boy. So I said, let me just put this out here right now. So if time will tell, if this comes about, because... If Errol Spence stay in his square and say, listen, 
It's strap season. Man down. I want Ugas. Well, let's make sure Ugas wants Spence. Because that car is getting tempted right there. And if and if if Ugas says, you know what? Ah, uh, I could retire after this. It's not that much further I could go with this shit. I was I was offered an opportunity. Who would I make more money with? Ugas? Or man um Spence or Manny Pacquiao? And then Manny Pacquiao's like, man, if I get that fight with Ugas, I'm back in play. I'm back in play. All right? A lot of people would be mad that Ugas picked Manny Pacquiao if that was to happen. This is this is a narrative I'm just pushing. All right? So any of my Cubans out there, if you hear me and you're watching, I hashtag this. Um, send it out there, man. Let's, 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 let's make some noise, man. Because I want my man I want my man Manny Pacquiao back in the game, son. So let's make some noise. See how this shit works? You see how that shit works, right? So any narrative could be pushed, and then it could just... Monkey see, monkey do, and just keep making videos about it. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, yo. We are the promoters. We promote certain fucking fights that we want. We, su we, we support certain fighters, and we push narratives. I'm hearing that Spence said, listen, I don't have Twitter. I don't have Instagram. I don't have Facebook. I keep it that way because I like my life simple, and I don't like, I don't like to hear a whole bunch of ruckery, and I don't like to hear people that I knew back in the day looking for me. That's it. You find me on YouTube, right? But... If that's the narrative that's going to be pushed, yo, I mean, all these names, Triple G, Ryan, this one, that one, I mean, why can't Lucas be pushed into that name calling? I mean, he does have Manny Pacquiao belt, so I don't see the problem where if you hear Lucas talking about, yeah, I want a Manny, can you get mad at him? And can you get mad at Manny Pacquiao petition to get his belt, but you have to fight Lucas to get it back? A lot of people will be mad and upset about that, right? Hey, that's how the ball rolls, bro. That's how the ball rolls. So all I'm saying is in this part two of the leverage game, I'm giving you examples. It's not just what Errol Spence won. It's not what Terrence Crawford won. It's also what Udanis Ugas won. Everybody forget about what Udanis Ugas won. He might want that fight with Manny Pacquiao. He might want that money, that legacy fight. Win or lose. Win or lose to Manny Pacquiao or win or lose to Errol Spence. Which one is lucrative? Just being honest, which one is lucrative? So if me trying to play a little mischief here and, and, and putting things out, just showing you an example how this shit rolls, man. So, um... <laughs> I'll tell you, that shit's some bullshit, yo. Some bull, there's some bulls, some shit going on here, man. So that's what I'm saying, man. Don't get mad at the game, get mad at the player. <laughs> or don't get mad at the player, get mad at the game. Whichever way you choose, man. In the circumstance that you win. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. I said, let me just put this video out right now because, hey, he named all the boxes. You might as well name this one. I mean, he got your belt, right, Manny? And if you take that belt back, you're back in the game. You see? Because because boxes like Arrow, which I have no problem with, standing on his square and doing his part saying he wants all the belts, well, can't get mad at that. That man have to make his own error. But if Manny Pacquiao talks to Ugas and Ugas is like, wow, man, I want that, I want that fight. Now, in my mind, how can that fight not happen? How can that fight not happen? How can this side of the street say, nah, you gotta fight, you gotta fight Arrow. No, you gotta fight Arrow. Hey, who could be whispering in his ears like, no, no, you, we don't want Manny Pacquiao back in this game. We don't want Manny Pacquiao, but I want Manny Pacquiao back in the game. Who is saying, well, well I, I want a lucrative fight. I want, I don't want 50, I want more than 50-50. I'm not going to get 50-50 from Errol Spence. I'm not going to get 50-50 from, from Manny Pacquiao, but I will get more money from Manny Pacquiao than Errol Spence. Can I have that fight? Is it Al Heyman? Is Mayweather promotion stopping that? I'm just saying I'm just pushing shit out there. I'm a Cocoa Puff like that, my dude. So let, let, let's, let's see what happens in the future. And I, I'm expecting to hopefully Ugas want to fight Spence just as much as Spence want to fight Ugas for that belt. That's it. And if it don't happen that way, and now you start hearing Manny Pacquiao and Ugas 
Well, you know, I'm not gonna say I told you so. I'm just saying this this narrative to be pushed. And if 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 he goes that route, he just goes that route, man. So this is how I'm, this is just an example of leverage and how you can push a narrative, and it could go out there and bada bang, bada boom, and shit is real. Shit is real. So regardless, this is Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence in July or whatever, or Spence versus Ugas. Or let me add another one. If it's Ugas versus Manny Pacquiao. You never know. All right, man. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm trying to make sure you can read between the lines. That's it. Have a nice day.